Kukui racetrack, two Vodafone Warriors, and a dozen eggs in the boot. The first driver to complete a half lap and parallel park at the finish line wins. The catch is a five second penalty per broken egg. Five weeks, six drivers, and just one winner that will take out the mighty Motorhead title. In race one, Simon Mannering proved too strong for Lance or Hire. The mighty Ford takes it. Yes, <laughs> In race two, Sam Marpetta took the early lead over Simon Mannering. But dirty tactics on the parallel park did not do him any favours. The green machine comes through once again. Mannering's next challenger was Joel Moon. But despite having an early lead, he couldn't overcome Moon's off-roading technique. But what it really came down to were those eggs in the boot. And Simon had less intact. Oh, what? No, I'm stuffed. Which leaves Joel Moon top of the leaderboard. Let's meet race four contenders. Hi, my name's Louis Brown. Hi, my name is Joel Moon. I'm 22 years old. I'm 20 years of age. I'm happily single with seven kids. I'm happily available and have no kids. In my spare time, I enjoy long walks on the beach and yoga. In my spare time, I like uh, going on Facebook and searching the web. The knowledge on racing cars and about cars, not a hell of a lot. I've never been on a race course today, this is my debut. My racing skills on the street are pretty good, so I'd um, I, I beat um, Juju, so yeah, looking for another win against Louis. I have a driver's licence, so I have a, um, Australian learners. But yeah, I think Lewis is a bit of a grandma, a bit of a nanny, um, so yeah, it'll be a pretty easy race. These classic cars have already taken a beating. The 89 Ford Laser has taken out races 1, 2 and 3. The Mazda 1 to 1 front top has yet to win a race. Can it take out race 4? Yeah, this green one's a bit of a piece of to auto. Red flame down the side. I'm more into autos. Not really that good at driving stick, so... Yeah, the green one's pretty but I um, haven't driven the white one yet. It's definitely a 5.8s car. It's a manual. Piece of too. I think the white car's got a advantage with the power. Louis, I'd like, I'd like to get the white one, mate. Yeah? It's a bit more power and just manual. Yeah, I, was, I, I think I like the green one, mate. Just easier to control. Not really good at driving sticks, so... Yeah, sweet. I'll take the white one. I have the upper hand because um, I've had one race under my belt. Yeah, definitely a lot more experience. He's a bit more erotic on the, on the racetrack. Did he just say erotic? Perhaps he meant erratic. Oh. Yeah, my best friend, win, eh? Sweet. I'll win because of my skills. I'm predicting a close one. I think it'll come down to an eggs count. Here we are, race four, the semi finals. Joel Moon, the man to beat in the manual white fun top. His opposition, Lewis Brown, scared stickless in the automatic. And they're away. Lewis Brown, already an egg down, appears to be having some mechanical problems. I was in neutral and I was trying to hit it to drive, and I got to drive, and the wheels just started spinning, and I had my handbrake on. <laughs> Let's let loose. Well, there's no need for Moon's off-roading skills here. He's already 10 seconds ahead after only 15 seconds of racing. As I looked up, Moon was off in the distance. Uh, I knew from the start I was, I was, I was gone. Yeah, I'm just a better driver. Deep in concentration, Lewis Brown needs a lot of good fortune to pull this race out of the bag. But what's this? Miles ahead of Brown? Is that Moon cheating? What's he doing with those eggs? Got around the corner. Uh, Mooney was really starting to park up, and I thought, oh, I'll just put a hammer and tongs here. <laughs> Fully charged. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's got to be not only the dirtiest, but the worst parking I've ever seen. I'd be surprised if any eggs survived that, but the boys will have to work this one out for themselves. <laughs> That's shit, mate. He's just ran me up the arch, <laughs> trying to take me out of play. Mr. Steering wheel just locked. 
That's dirt play. That's dirt play. Mooney wasn't too happy. He's pretty dirty on me. So I win. Yeah, you win by disqualification. Yeah, I win. Did it give you a fright, Mooney? No. Did it? No. I think Mooney, Mooney's a bit filthy at me. Nah, sweet. <laughs> oh. Look, I got some eggs in the front seat. They landed in my front seat. Oh, one egg, two eggs. Never mind the eggs, Louis. This has got to equal instant disqualification. I've got another one in the front. Eight. Obviously, I've won because of disqualification. Oh, I don't know now. I've got too many eggs. Nah. I think the most eggs should uh, win. I don't think he's noticed that Joel's bigger than he is. Who wins? I win. Oh, I don't know. How many eggs you got? Mate, don't be stupid. I just say I win. Oh, I don't know, Mooney. Louis, you just f***ing crashed my car. <laughs> Mooney's blowing up. Storm. Yeah, I'll give Mooney the win. Yeah. I end up having the most eggs, but I felt a little bit sympathetic for Mooney, so I thought I'd give him, you know, it was a bit dirty on my behalf. Well done, Louis, but that was a bit of a dog ache. <laughs> it was just very amazing. Nah, yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do to win, you know? Yeah, it was a great day. Um, it's good weather for the races, and um, I, know, I can't wait till next week. Next week, I've got Dan O'Regan. Should be another onslaught by me. I should smash him pretty well, so. If he doesn't do another dirt bag act like that. We're looking for a passionate footy fan to be the next Vodafone One Tribe TV presenter and accompany the team on their trip to Queensland in July. So send us your audition piece to be in to win the trip of a lifetime. The best audition will also take home a Samsung 46 inch high definition LCD screen and home entertainment centre. Simply visit vodafoneonetribe.co.nz, click on the audition tab, follow the instructions, and you could see yourself on Vodafone One Tribe TV. Let's go check out some of those auditionees now. So who's your favourite Warriors player? Really, Steve Price. What Warriors player would you invite to your house to have dinner with you and your family? Really, Steve Price. And what would you guys have for dinner? Noodles? Oh, I'm sure Steve would love noodles. So you have any advice or tips you want to pass on to the boys? Oh, ball skills. Okay, what type of ball skills do you want to pass on? You want to show us? Sure. Well, there you have it. The Vodafone Warriors number one supporter. I'm Asha reporting for Vodafone One Tribe. See you all next time. Go the Warriors!